In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HNO3. This is sodium sulfite and this is nitric acid. It's important to note that this is dilute. This is dilute nitric acid. If you had concentrated, you would end up with different products. There's a link in the description if you're looking for the concentrated version for this equation. So the first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we have to balance the molecular equation. I can see that there's one sodium here and two here. So I'm going to put a two in front of the sodium nitrate. Now I have two sodiums, but I also have two nitrates. Let's put a two here. That'll balance the nitrates. Looks like it balances the hydrogens and everything else. So this is our balanced molecular equation. Next, we write the state for each substance. Sodium compounds are very soluble. That'll be aqueous, AQ. Nitric acid's a strong acid. That'll dissociate completely. Aqueous, again, another sodium compound. And then we have a gas and a liquid. So now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. So sodium on the periodic tables in group one, that has a one plus. The whole sulfide ion is two minus. So we have two sodium ions. And I won't write the states each time. Let's do that at the end. Then I have the sulfite ion, sulfite ion, plus hydrogen group one, one plus, and then the whole nitrate ion right here is one minus. Good one to remember. Two hydrogen ions, and then two nitrate ions. And these are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we have the positive and the negative here. So again, two sodium ions, that Na plus, and two of the nitrate ions. We don't split gases or liquids apart in net ionic equations, so we're just gonna write those as they are. And now we have the complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. I can see in the reactants up here, I have two sodium ions. And then in the products, I also have those two sodium ions. There are two nitrate ions also in the reactants and in the products. So get rid of those. And what's left, that's the net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HNO3. I'll clean it up, write the states, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for Na2SO3 plus HNO3. Note that charges can serve. I have a two minus here, two times the one plus, that's two plus. This all adds up to zero. This is neutral over here. That makes sense. If you count the atoms, they're balanced as well. Often you'll see the negative ion put second, the positive first, doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little nicer. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for sodium sulfate plus nitric acid. Thanks for watching.